this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus. Today we are on Proverbs 12, 18. There is one whose rash words are like sword thrust, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Looking at this scripture, we have the person who is saying rash words, and they are like swords, but then the one who is speaking from God's wisdom is bringing healing. When I was looking at the scripture, I was thinking, let's really focus on two words and what do they represent? So if your words are like a sword, what does a sword do? A sword is cutting, wounding, dividing, and killing. And then if we look at what does healing do with a person, healing would take away pain. It would bring peace. It would bring comfort. It would bring strength. It would even bring gratefulness. Really breaking down these two words, I think we can see the big distinction between the two of them. And we can really see uh, the spiritual divide and who, who they belong to. I mean that... What is Satan known for killing, stealing, destroying? A sword is cutting, wounding, dividing, killing. What is Jesus known? Love, peace, mercy, grace. And when we talked about healing, healing would be taking away pain, peace, comfort, strength, um, gratefulness. You know, I, I think we've all put our foot in our mouth, right? and said something quickly, and then we're like, oh, no. And hopefully we are repenting, going to the Lord in prayer, and repenting for the words that we have said. Or either we are also going to that person and repenting and apologizing for what we have done um, that was not of the Lord. And at and times, too, the Lord can bring a healing through our words if we're just obedient to the Lord and the Spirit. What's interesting is I was studying this verse and I was reminded of a conversation uh, with my brother that happened a little while ago. And it was just a funny conversation because I was reminding him of something he had said, I don't know, in the past year that was very encouraging. And then he tell, he goes, that's funny. He goes that that really helped you. He said, because I actually got that from you about... 15 years ago <laughs> and he was telling me the story of what the words he had told me and then how it had came from these words I had told him about 15 years ago which I remember telling him those words but those words that I had told him 15 years ago really was uh, the wisdom of God showing me some things that I had transferred to him and so because it was from the spirit of God it helped him and then fast forward helped me and it kind of keeps on going, right? We usually hear this idea of rash words keep on going because people are hurt and they're angry and they're resentful and unforgiveness. But I wanted to share today uh, the other aspect of it. Of there's this the spirit of God's words that bring this healing can keep on going and going. And who knows? Maybe in a couple of years, um, I'll I'll say I'll we'll do that back and forth again. God can keep using this for whatever or for other people. So I pray that the word of the Lord today has encouraged you with his uh, spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. And thank you for listening.